been using Jasper for five days. My free trial is just about up. I got the email today. I've been playing around with it. I had no experience before, and actually the first few demos that I recorded, I didn't watch any uh, training videos. I didn't do any research at all. So they were a little rough and I've gotten a little bit better. And I have a podcast, it's called The Doug Show. I talk about affiliate marketing and SEO, and I'm about to record an episode and I thought, why don't I see if Jasper can help me come up with an outline? I kind of know what I want to cover. I had an email sent in by a listener and he wanted to know why people aren't successful. So I feature a lot of success stories, people that are working on a side hustle, they start an affiliate marketing site or something like that. So there's a lot of success stories. I don't have very many non-success stories. I do try to feature the other side of the coin, but it doesn't always um, come out and there's some basically some survivorship bias. So I don't hear from people that aren't successful because no one wants to talk on a podcast about how they couldn't get anything to work out. Anyway, I thought I'll do some research. I have a few emails that people sent in. And by the way, if you want to check out the show, you can uh, follow the link in the description. Anyway, I thought Jasper might be able to help me come up with a few ideas. I have a few bullet points myself, but I'm going to go to the blog post outline. It looks like this is probably the closest one to, uh, you know, what I need. And then we could beef it up from there. Uh, a more advanced thing that I may try once I understand what I want in a, you know, podcast outline or brainstorming type document, I may create my own recipe. So the recipes are commands for Jasper that basically you could run through and, you know, follow the recipe and have the output. And it may be a little bit faster than using the blog post outline. But in this case, the blog post title or topic is why aren't how about why some people, why some people aren't successful online? And yeah, I'll just leave uh, witty is fine. And I'll, I'll change it to three outputs and see what happens. And we're going to do this in real time. So this is what we came up with. It's very quick. It's very quick. So um, let's see here. They give up too easily. They don't take the time to learn. They're not patient. They don't have a clear goal. They're not consistent. Not good work ethic. Great. Okay. And the next one is people who are successful online work hard and stay focused. They take the time to learn the industry and what works best. Successful people are patient and don't give up. They know how to work, or sorry, they know how to network with others and build relationships. And finally, they always put their customers first. Okay. Um, and finally, people who are successful online have a clear goal and plan to achieve it. They take action and don't give up easily. They're not afraid to ask for help. They stay positive when things are tough. And they're patient and never give up on their dreams. Okay, some of these are a little bit um, redundant, but that's cool. We do have three choices. And I think I uh, actually agree a lot with the ones <laughs> that are here. Um, and a couple things I'll point out. So the, the first one here, it's uh, brief, it's short. Those are great for like introducing the section, thinking when I'm actually recording the podcast. The the other one, the one in the middle there, the second one, it's a little bit longer. Some of them have like two ideas in there, you know, not not completely separate, but like number three, successful people are patient and they don't give up when things get tough. So that can almost be divided into like two different areas. The good part is I... I have a couple um, of my own ideas that I can add in here. And I think probably I could end up with maybe seven to 10 unique different points. Some of them are going to be longer than others. And like I said, for the episode, I actually have some other people that emailed me in response to the topic area. So I actually recorded an episode and said, hey, if you have any thoughts on it or if you are not successful yet, then we can get into it. 
and you can send in your specific uh, points that you want to cover. So one thing we can do from here is take these ideas and perhaps expand them out. So I am actually newer to the tool to Jasper here, which you could sign up for a five day free trial as well. There's a link in the description. I'm actually an affiliate, so I get a commission if you do sign up. Um, but basically I'm gonna copy um, a few of these and put them into what's called the document um, area. I think that's the name of the tool, but it's in the boss mode. So I have the boss mode so that you actually can do a little bit more. You can write longer text, long form, and what I can do is for each one of these points in the outline, I can ask for more auto-generated content. So Jasper would probably see what we're trying to write and then it'll fill in a couple sentences for each one of it. I, fortunately, I, I can talk because I've been podcasting for a little while. So each one of the points, I could probably riff on it, but it'll be nice to see what Jasper has to say. So let me pause for a second then I'm gonna move this over to the document area and then we can see what we can do from there. All right, pause in real time. Okay, so I figured out what I should do. Um, I went to AI outputs and I think I could have done this on the previous screen by the way, but basically there's this little um, icon open in documents and you can see each one of the three outputs like they have their um, individual section in AI output. So I can just click open in documents and then it actually gives me all three of the outputs that we had and I can move them over here if I, I want to. So what I can do, I'm just gonna move them all over and then I can get rid and edit um, the ones that I want. So I'm just going to uh, pause here really quick and then hop back after I edit it down to the tighter list. Okay, so I clean things up a little bit. One thing I noticed is some of the bullet points were framed as people that are successful do X and then some were people that, um, that are not successful don't do X or do something. So I made all that line up. I removed the numbers so I can just click that. So we have actually we have 12 of them here, which is more than I expected, but I did add a couple of my own. Some of them are extremely similar or, or even redundant, but that is totally okay. So what we have here, what we have showing is we have the blog post outline um, here sort of in the center section. And then we have documents over here and documents is where I want to work. So I use the outline and you could use any of these different templates and then put that into the document area. So I think once I click on the focus mode, it it gives me just the documents and I can put in the, uh, the title that we had, which actually um, I was hoping I could just copy it and paste it from here because I'm lazy and nobody wants to watch me type. So why some people aren't successful online and then the content brief um, is just the reference material that I, I want them to, or that I want Jasper to write about. I'm not going to put any keywords. Um, in this case, I may put something, actually, I'm going to leave it blank because I think there may be enough here. So I'll just, wherever I want Jasper to write, I'll, I'll I want this to be sort of clean. So I'm formatting it as we go. I'll click compose. And I really just want a sentence or two about each one of these points. So another reason, okay, so I don't want Jasper to keep going. I only want the one sentence on the single point there. I don't want Jasper to keep going on and on about what it thinks I wanted to write about. So let's see what happens here. Again, I just want a sentence or two. Let's see what happens if they're all right, yeah, so Jasper sees that I'm writing this document and it, there's no knowledge, I guess, of what is already written down there. So maybe I'm doing this a little bit backwards. I'm not quite sure, but I don't want all this stuff here. I just want the one bullet point and that's it. So maybe I'll change the, it to shorter output length here, which is no problem at all. And one thing I just noticed is 
it's um, Jasper is effing up my numbers here. So that is a little bit annoying. So I could just remove those because Jasper is just goofing it up, which any tool, any document tool may F up your numbers like that. So not, not a huge deal. And I don't, frankly, I don't care. It's not like I'm going to publish this um, in any other format. So I'll just click through here and click compose. I'll just do like one or two more and then we can go back and read a bit more. So the short output length was a little bit too short, but two of them <laughs> is uh, maybe still too long. So we'll just get one more here. And go from there. Okay, so let's read like one or two. So they give up too easily. Some people just give up too easily when things don't go their way. They'll start an online business and if it doesn't make them a millionaire overnight, they just give up and quit. They'll never give themselves a chance to succeed. So grammatically, that sounds fine. A little bit vague, you know. I'm okay with that. I'm I am doing this just for, you know, podcast research. So like I mentioned before, I'll take one of these points and then I'll riff on it on my own. I'll come up with my own examples and stuff. Next point, they don't take the time to learn. If you want to be successful online, you need to take the time to learn about online marketing, SEO, and web design. You can't just expect to set up a website and have people find it. You need to put in the effort and make sure your site is visible and attractive to potential customers. So if you have the boss mode, of Jasper, you have access to Grammarly. Grammarly will often suggest some clarity revisions and you could just click on it and that actually sounds a little bit better, I think. Um, if you want to be successful online, you must learn. So they cleaned up a longer phrase. It was a little bit wordy and they just said, you must. So a little bit cleaner. So as we go through here, I could you know, expand on each one of these points. I probably won't do that again, just cause I'm only using it for an outline. I was just curious. However, if I wanted to take this and maybe I will do this, I could expand on this just a little bit. I would maybe change the context on a couple things. Um, like this phrasing here, they start a quote online business. For me, I would say in a, an affiliate marketing website with display ads, for example, and I may not put in millionaire, I may say if they're not making $1,000 a month overnight, they give up. So I would change the context, but potentially I would end up with a, I would say if I f do the rest of these, um, I would probably end up with close to a thousand word blog post. And maybe I will. I, I, I'm pretty much doing most of the um, work here. It'll probably only take me a few more minutes to do. And then I would wrap it up. So for the YouTube side, I'm actually just going to, I'm going to end this now and, and say it was effective. Jasper was effective in creating the outline. I got a few more ideas. It was faster than me trying to come up with them on my own, which I was curious, but it certainly was faster to use Jasper. I have a set of free resources and it's over on my uh, course platform and basically you could just sign up and I'm actually going to put the, the full version of this video so that you could watch the rest of it if you're interested to see what the blog post looks like over on the uh, resources section. It's basically AI tools. So I'm featuring Jasper now. I'm trying to learn these tools, but I'm going to be testing many of the other tools out there as well. So if you want these free resources, if you want the extended versions, if you want the other workflows that I'm uh, going to create, you can go sign up. There's a link in the description there. It's free to sign up. And I, I think it's just going to be free. All you have to do is enter your name and email, and then you'll have access to the course. You'll be able to log in. Um, and I, I'm just going to make it free out there. You can go check it out. And I'm going to be adding to it over time as I learn these tools. So for YouTube, I'll catch you later. And if you're uh, watching on the other side, that's awesome. I'll see you in the uh, course section. And by the way, I'm Doug Cunnington. You can subscribe to the channel if you want to see more of these kind of demo videos.